Psycho Farm. Hey guys, going. This video is just gonna be a rapid review on the different types of amphetamine stimulants. So I'll just be going over like Adderall, Adderall XR, Dexedrine, Vyvanse, and a few others. And I'll be getting a decent amount of my information from LorianPsych.com. Um, I'll throw a link in the description. So one of the core differences between the different amphetamine-based stimulants is that they have differing amounts of L-amphetamine and D-amphetamine. So very briefly, these are optical isomers of one another. I don't know if you remember from chemistry, but they're mirror images. So both these configurations are amphetamine. Dextroamphetamine or D-amphetamine is the right-handed isomer and levoamphetamine or L-amphetamine is the left-handed one. So you don't need to know too much of the details of what I'm going over, but you just need to know that the two isomers interact differently with receptors in the brain. So this is a bit oversimplified, but it makes it easy to remember. So the D-isomer binds more readily to the dopamine receptors. So it causes more of the euphoria and the mental stimulation, whereas the L-isomer binds more readily to norepinephrine receptors. So it causes more of that jittery fight or flight stimulation. It's also helpful to think of it as L-amphetamine has more peripheral effects, so it has more effects on the cardiovascular system than D-amphetamine, which is more central effects. So most of the psychiatric benefits of amphetamines come from D-amphetamine, but it is possible that a small number of people may respond better to L-amphetamine, or that L-amphetamine might modulate the effects of D-amphetamine, or that there might be some other reason why L-amphetamine is good, but we don't really know. So the easiest starting point just for understanding the differences between the different amphetamine stimulants is just by looking at the ratio of D to L amphetamine. So first I'll start with the fan favorite and that's Adderall. And that's 75% D amphetamine and 25% L amphetamine. And actually to be more specific, it's a combination of four different kinds of amphetamine salts two of which are 50-50 D and L, and two of which are 100% D amphetamine. And that's why the Adderall bottles say mixed amphetamine salts. In theory, having a bunch of different salts means that there's gonna be a different times that they each dissolve. So instead of like smacking you all at once, you're gonna get gradually more stimulated as they each dissolve one by one. But there isn't actually research that shows that it works this way. And then the next one is dexedrine, and dexedrine is just 100% D-amphetamine. So its generic name is literally dextroamphetamine. So there are people who have side effects on Adderall who don't have side effects on dexedrine, and that's presumably because it was the L-amphetamine in their case that was causing the side effects. Most people actually do tend to prefer dexedrine to Adderall. Some people describe it as a bit more euphoric than Adderall, which is not surprising because Adderall has, still has that 25% L-amphetamine, so it's a little bit more physically stimulating. But because of that, I think people do fear that dextrin is more habit-forming than Adderall. All right, the next one that is 50-50 is Avicio, and the generic name is amphetamine sulfate. So this one has even more of the possibly not so useful L-amphetamine than Adderall. So there really isn't a good reason to try it, although some research think that a few odd people might respond better to it, but even still. In general, you should probably just stay away from it. Now, all the other amphetamine-related drugs that you see out there are basically these three drugs with different delivery mechanisms. So the way that the Adderall XR mechanism works is that 50% of the drug is released right away, and then 50% of the drug is released four hours later. So it's trying to mimic the effects of two doses of uh, immediate release Adderall given four hours apart. So just a little pro tip, if your pharmacy ever runs out of Adderall XR, you can just replicate it by two Adderall IRs four hours apart. Actually, I take that back. I don't offer medical advice here. Everything I say is made up. And then there are a bunch of different Adderall formulations, and they sound really cool, but to be honest, they're just like different grabs to get money so that they can not sell generic and make money off of Adderall. The release mechanisms are pretty cool, though. So one is Mydeus. So that has two separate delayed releases, and they're released based off of the pH. So the first release gets released in the proximal small intestine, and then the second one occurs in the distal small intestine. Then there's something called Adzenes, which is just like Adderall XR, um, except it's, so it's called XR ODT. ODT just means orally dissolving tablet. So it just means it dissolves in your mouth. So if I was making an ad, I'd be like, yo, if you're rich, but your kid's trying to cheek your medications, there's Adzenes. Then there's Dynavanil which is basically Adderall extended release in oral suspension. So it's a liquid, pretty nifty. I might have pronounced it wrong, Dianavil. You truly like never see this stuff. Maybe peds do, but um, adults, you don't ever see these kind of crazy mechanisms. All right, moving on from the crazy Adderall money grabs. So the next one is Vyvanse, and Vyvanse you do actually see being used. So the generic for Vyvanse is Liz Dexamphetamine. And one thing that's nifty, it has an FDA approval for binge eating disorder. But essentially what it is, is it's Dexedrine, and then they attached a lysine group to it. So the lysine attached to a Dexedrine is inactive. So it needs to chop off the lysine in order to become active. 
So it has a really nifty way of being long acting because the lysine group needs to get snipped off by hydrolysis in the red blood cells. So it's kind of the, so it serves as a bottleneck for the bioactivation of the vivans. So this kind of allows it to have a smoother effect curve and also makes it so it's really hard to abuse the drug. Then there's also one called Zenzetti, which is just Dexedrin XR. And then just a little fun fact, did you know that you can prescribe meth? So uh, Dizoxin is literally meth. Uh, I personally don't have the balls to prescribe it, but it's an option. And then I always think it's cool to look at the little chemistry pictures. Uh, so you can see how closely structurally related dopamine is to amphetamine. And then just a reminder, methamphetamine is literally just one methyl group. So that's the CH3 attached to the amphetamine. So when people call doctors, you know, drug pushers, I personally don't get that offended. I get it. All right, if you found this helpful, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, there I have question reviews where I kind of just go over board questions and add stupid commentary. All right, thanks.